Hi, this is Kimberly Hayes. I'm the press secretary for the National Organization for Women. We're here at our annual conference talking to feminists who have been attending. And would you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Karen Caldillo. Um, I am a senior at the University of Central Florida. I'm a part of the Greater Orlando, uh, Florida chapter of NOW. And um, I'm, uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers, a. Well, thank you so much for being here. And uh, you know, our theme is the feminist agenda rising. Kind of, what is your feminist agenda, and what are you excited to hear about? This um, um, yeah, I think my feminist agenda is making now an inclusive place uh, where we are combating transphobia, where we're standing up for you know our fellow like immigrant community. Um, at, Currently, um, you know, I think like taking a stance on like the concentration camps that we have at the border, um, making sure that you know we beat Trump in 2020, and that we take back the House as well. I mean, the Senate, and uh, just overall making now an inclusive place where um, women with an X that are female identifying can feel like this is their home, and that they can fight with us um, for equality for all. Wonderful, wonderful. And what have you kind of, as far as the plenaries and workshops you've been in so far, what has kind of stood out to you and what have you uh, enjoyed? Um. I think what stood out for me so far are the great speakers. I like the speakers. I would like to see more like LGBTQ plus, uh, you know, uh, workshops. I would like to see more immigrant-based workshops. But so far, I've been having a great time mingling with all the people here from all across the country. Um, and yeah, the speakers are great. Wonderful. And is there anything you're kind of looking forward to uh, for tomorrow and the rest of the weekend? Yeah, I'm really excited for Ilhan Omar. I think that um, you know she is. Such such an incredible um, feminist right now, really leading the charge on what it means to stand up for everybody and the most vulnerable, right? Um, and I think that, you know, if she can go into Congress and really um, change the rhetoric, I think that anyone else can. Wonderful. And I just thought you had a bunch of break late, uh, with the 2020 election coming up. Are there any other issues that are kind of hot topics uh, for you right now? Yeah, I think that, you know, as a young person from Florida and just a young person in America, like gun safety is an issue that um, I really prioritize. Um, Health care for all, you know, canceling student debt, you know, my comms director in Florida will be. Um, in debt and uh, will be paying her student loan debt till she's 72 and so she can't save uh, to retire because she has this crippling debt and so you know like I said you know health care for all college for all um, yeah those are some of my top issues okay. well, thank you so much for being here I really appreciate it